I'm Emily Hayes and this is my legacy project. My hope is that I'll leave behind a legacy of laughter. I'm currently living this legacy by smiling often, making way too many jokes, and being myself around my friends and my family. My biggest influences, first off, are my family. My mom has always been a huge supporter of mine the best laugher at all of my comedy sports matches. My mom has always pushed me to do what I want to do, no matter what people think. She's the reason why I have auditioned for everything I have a chance to, and why I have enjoyed my time in theater so much because of that. She's also my brain, keeps me on track daily, is I can't do it on my own, organizes my life, and makes it a whole lot easier. I don't know what I'll do without her next year. My dad is very wise. He has a lot of good advice. A lot of good advice that has gotten me to where I am. And it will get me through the rest of my life. I think I've always strived to make him laugh and to make him proud. Not that I don't with my mom either, but it's something a little different. So, I think my legacy grew in pursuit of making him happy. And I thank him for that. My sister, Addison, is someone who is unapologetically herself. She may get embarrassed when we go to stores together and I sing along to songs that are playing and she thinks I'm being obnoxious. But I don't know if she knows that it's her doing. Watching her never apologize for being who she is made me want to not apologize for who I am, which is someone who sings and dances around stores. And she's a big reason why I don't take life too seriously. Because I don't have to apologize for it. I remember back during her legacy project, she said that I taught her not to take life too seriously. But she was the one who gave me the confidence to do that. I have always been so in awe of her strength and her confidence and her stubbornness, but it's the good kind. And so I have to thank her for lending me some of that. I have my friends to thank for laughing at my jokes, even when they're not always funny or just cringing through them, and for loving me unconditionally and keeping me smiling.